How'd you all decide to give Xander and AJ a little bit more extended run tonight? Uh, the team we were playing. Uh, really good program, very well coached, very organized. Uh, two of the more dangerous hitters we'll see this year uh, at the top of the order. I was kind of cursing their name. Uh, you, you plan for the weekend, and they, they kind of shuffled up the batting order a little bit. But uh, not that the other guys aren't capable, but those two guys at the top of the lineup are pretty special. And then you know their pitchers are going to throw strikes. And uh, that's something we're all trying to do as coaching staffs, but they're obviously excelling at it. So uh, we wanted to win the game and continue to just keep playing ball. It's a good way to start May. You've been hammering home the last couple of days. Walker's pitching staff, how they pound the zones. I guess just how nice was it for you to see your offense have success against them? Yeah, to I mean, to draw five walks, I believe it was, but also just have at-bats that were consistent throughout the game because if, if you isolate – one at bat here or there, or even a couple in a row at the beginning, it would be frustrating. But if you look at the whole kind of picture, um, those guys were really relaxed and yet dialed in tonight, and they did a good job against some really good arms. What specifically did AJ do so well? He was throwing the ball really well. And he, he's one of those guys, um, kind of like Redmond was uh, younger uh, here with us. By the end of the year, we were like, he's one of the guys we maybe should have used more. I mean, again, it's easy to play Monday morning quarterback, but um, there's a pecking order, and he certainly got plenty of opportunities. But we've said before, like, this guy is good enough that by the end of the year we're going to look at his inning total and say it would have been nice if he would have got five or six more. But um, he's still got plenty coming to him. And now that he's been out there in heated situations, not just, hey, you get to start your own inning and get us three outs, um, I trust him in any situation. I trust him to close a game, to be honest with you, now that we're talking about it. I mean, that's what he was basically required to do. You know, all of a sudden, after five pitches, you got bases loaded um, and facing a pretty good hitter. Um, he's, you know, been in Baum Stadium with a runner on, got a double play uh, this past weekend against one of the more dangerous lineups in the SEC. So I go on and on. It's really good stuff, but it's also good presence. Building off that, how high do you think his potential is here at Tennessee? Um, that's bad, because I've kind of said it to the team. You can go as high as you want. So. Um, I don't know if he can top old Luke Cochaver, but he can do a lot of things, I think. So it'll be fun to watch him. And um, I, I, I got all heated one time in the outfield is what I'm referring to. And I said, when you're starting on the weekend, when you're a junior, um, who knows, may do that before. May, maybe his role is something that, that's really good, but it's not meant to be that. So again, I was just kind of going on a tangent at the time. Um, but even in my, you know, where I kind of blacked out and thinking, uh, I thought I had to well, know well enough he's going to be one of the better pitchers we have in this program for the next three years. The guys are talking, they use the word special. You talk about how freshmen, you trust him to close out a game. Just what, I guess, uh, leads you to have that trust? Yeah, I mean, you got to kind of have the right heart rate. And I, I think I've said it with you all before. We got a Braves hat on. And, you know, Rocker was fun to watch do all kinds of crazy. I'm no politics. I'm not on board with anything he's had to say. But, um, it, it was really fun, and I'm not against it either. <laughs> uh, whatever. But Rocker was a maniac. Or the better example, more fun one, is Charlie Sheen in Major League, you know, to have the crazy closer. Uh, but the guy you want out there is the guy that's under control, and Mariano Rivera, you know, you're kind of the same guy no matter what the situation is. And for a freshman, you know, him and Dylan Dryling are two in particular, and there's a few others in that class too. Banky was like that when we threw him out there, you know, for his first time right in the middle of the year, where it looks like they're just playing baseball. And uh, we can ask them to do that as coaches, but it's, it's a lot easier said than done. So he's got good presence to him. Was what Seth went through last year as tough a, a journey for any of your players that, that you've had to deal with? And what kind of stands out about how he dealt with all that adversity last year? Yeah, no, I, I think it, what, you know, what it says is kind of what you got inside of you a little bit. And at the end of the day, we're kind of talking out there in the outfield. This is, this is all about to see what you can and can't do. And uh, when you compete in our league, it'll tell you, you know, can you handle fans? Can you handle this, that, or the other? And uh, I think if you're willing to persevere through stuff like that, um, it'll make you stronger, not just at this, but really at anything that comes afterwards in life. Who's uh, been the glue to this team as of late? Um, you know, um, I mentioned Tom Wilcox when I went on my rant about middle of the dugout. He almost made an appearance tonight. We, uh, we were missing two innings of baseball there. Uh, and uh, 
you know, Jared Dickey, I think, uh, has always kind of been uh, a guy that guys kind of gravitate towards his energy. S but we're starting to get to a point where, uh, s sorry to daydream a little bit there, but uh, we're starting to get to a point where this guy's the leader of this category. This guy kind of seems to be the leader of this. When they're going to celebrate or do something to prepare for the game in the locker room, this guy's in charge of playing this song or whatever. And, um, you know, maybe we could have orchestrated that earlier in the year, but they needed time to work through it. And it maybe took more time um, than other groups, but there's a lot of new faces. So um, you, you guys watch the game and everyone can make their own opinion for, you know, Blake Burke hits the furthest home runs in BP. Um, but each, each person kind of brings something to the table. And I even mentioned a guy who doesn't have any action for us on the field. There's different ways you can contribute. It doesn't just have to be on the way to the field. And I think especially some of the younger guys are figuring that out. And How valuable? It's huge because when you get into these games, um, you, you know, I watched a couple SEC games, the end of them at least, because um, we're off on Sunday this past weekend. And you go one to one, go into game three, and it comes down to the ninth inning, and then comes down to the last hitter. And then it comes down to something like, you know, we made a couple mistakes tonight. If we slide head first into second base there on that, that ball in the dirt, Dylan's probably safe. That's a pretty small thing, and everyone's going to make mistakes. But uh, you know, a series can kind of be decided by that. So if, if the margin is that small, then it's huge if you got a group of guys that are working together and picking each other up. And that that might be the vibe that pushes you over the top in a series that's one to one or just one game where it's a grudge match, uh, kind of like we had this past weekend um, where Mississippi State was up. We came back, then they get up again. We come back, and it's tied. And then next thing you know, Griff does what he does. I know, you, I know the results haven't been there yet on the road, but have you liked the approach from the team and how they've handled weekends away from here? Yeah, I mean, the Arizona one was a unique one. We had, a you know, guys missing in action, and it was our first trip, and, um, you know, it was an interesting tournament. Two neutral side games, one road game. And so that one was quirky. And then you go into the frozen tundra of Lambeau Field, and, and uh, they played well, and we didn't. Um, and then, you know, everyone knows – uh, Bomb Stadium, and, and then also at LSU. Those are two of the tougher environments. Each weekend, to, meet, to be honest with you, completely different circumstances and a little bit different vibe from our team. So I'd say if there was a complaint, you'd like some consistency, but we haven't really gotten a rhythm where we're on the road and we're not and we're on the road. So now we're in that rhythm. So it, it'll be interesting to see. And, and really what you want is your guys to just keep playing baseball the way they're playing here. Um, and, you know, it's it's – really fun to be at home and every SEC team that's really good is good at home so it's better to be the hero uh, but sometimes you know you get to go on the road and be the villain you know playing Bane would be fun too you're not just Batman you would especially if you don't have that bad voice Christian Bale had going on in that deal what do you know about Georgia at this point um you know for me they got some guys that have been around for a while that's the thing that sticks out the most I mean if you haven't heard the word you know, the, the names that are in that lineup, when, when you go look at it again, they'll, they'll pop up because we've played those guys obviously the last couple of years. Um, I understand pitching staff wise, they got a good amount of lefties. We got a good amount of left handed hitters, so that, that'd be something. Uh, but we'll dive into it a little bit more. But that, that's the thing that sticks out to me is we're, we're in that quirky period where um, we got, you know, COVID is still a factor, as crazy as that sounds. So you got some rosters where you got some, some really older pieces or experienced pieces that are in play. And we got a few of those too, but, but they definitely do, especially at the plate.